hesitation. There's a word that we all struggle with. When God speaks to you, do you hesitate? The Bible's filled with stories of men, great men of faith who do great things, but they have hesitation. When we come to the story of Ananias in Acts chapter 9, just like Saul, God gives him a vision. Ananias has a vision and he hears the voice of God. God says, I want you to go to Saul. Ananias' response is hesitation. In other words, we take a pause, we recalculate, and we even question whether God's decision is really good. Ananias does that with the Lord. And he says, God, do you know who Saul is? He has the authority and the power and the reputation to do terrible things to believers. And you want me to go to him? It's almost like between the lines you can hear Ananias thinking, are you crazy? Do you know how terrible this man is? Do you know what jeopardy my life would be in if I went to Saul and things went awry? God's voice is clear. He says to Ananias, I want you to go. I want you to go right now. Hesitation is something we can all stumble over and miss God's divine call and work in our lives. Why is that significant? Well, first of all, we all want to have a vibrant relationship with the Lord and doing what the Lord says is going to enhance that relationship. Actually, the word disobedience would come into play. Not doing what God calls us to do is disobedience. The question, as I think of Ananias, is he going to obey God? Is he going to risk his own life doing the will of God? And the answer, of course, in the story is yes, he does. The second observation on my prayer walk I have with you this morning is other de people are dependent upon us. Saul is blind. He's been blind for three days. And because Ananias does the will of the Father, because Ananias listens to the Lord, other people are impacted by us when we say yes to God. And when Ananias goes to Saul, the first thing that happens is something like scales fall off his eyes and he's healed. The second thing that happens is he's baptized in water. These things happen because a man named Ananias said yes to the Lord. How about you? Do you say yes to God? Do you hesitate like Ananias or Abraham or Noah or Moses? And the list goes on and on. Perhaps the greatest hesitation I can think of is in the life of a man named Gideon. Now that's a thought. Oh, to do the will of God. Yes, Lord, whatever the risk, you know, and if you've called me to do it, you're going to prepare the way and you're going to protect me. I want to do the will of the Father. Lord, I thank you for the story in Acts chapter 9 of a man named Saul. But I'm grateful this hour for the story of a man named Ananias, whose name simply means God is gracious. Oh, Lord, use us. Let us be instruments in your hand as we say yes to you in Jesus' name. You be blessed this morning. As I continue my morning prayer walk, I'm praying for you and your family in Jesus' name.